From fantasy to sci-fi worlds, aquatic civilizations are common in fictional universes, but in most universes, these civilizations don't work. This is due to the fact that aquatic species could have never made a functioning civilization. In order for a species to create a civilization, especially an advanced and innovative civilization, it must master tool use, fire, society, and agriculture. Without mastering these four technological advancements, a species can not create a functioning civilization. Society. Before I discuss why civilizations need a society to function, I must first define the differences between society and civilizations. Civilizations are large interconnected societies that are capable of large scale projects, while societies are groups of individuals working together. Humans are the only species in the real world to have created a civilization, while dozens of species have created societies such as dolphins, apes, and ants. Societies are necessary for a civilization to form because it is necessary that individuals work together. This is one advancement all aquatic civilizations have, though we will see that they lack the other advancements. Tool use. Most aquatic civilizations use tools but often incorrectly. Tools don't need to be complex. Simple things such as using a rock to hunt and sticks to make a makeshift grid are all that is necessary for a civilization to form. The greatest problem aquatic animals face when obtaining tool use is the lack of hands to grab objects. Most fictional species work around this by just adding arms to the species, but this runs into the problem of the species, species no longer being able to swim effectively. Two ways around this are having the species have innate magical abilities or having, aquatic or having aquatic civilizations be more like octopuses and have suction cubs to grab things. Agriculture. One of the most forgotten about advancements necessary for civilizations. When was the last time a Star Wars movie showed how the Mon Calamari got their food? Agriculture is necessary for civilizations to form because agriculture allows societies to stay in one place and rapidly increase their population numbers. Both of these factors allow societies to increase their population, allowing the formation of large civilizations. In order to include agriculture in your aquatic civilization, you just need to make some easily farmable plants and animals that could be domesticated. Fire, the most obvious problem with aquatic civilizations. Fire is necessary for the formation of civilizations because it enables the forging of metal tools, the cooking of food, and providing heat. Cooked food is safer to eat and more nutritious. A more forgotten benefit of fire is that it can scare away predators. This is why fire usage was invented before boats, clothing, language, pottery, and agriculture. So clearly fire is very important to the formation of civilizations, and it obviously can't work underwater. So how do you work around this? Fire is more accurately described as a heat source. And while fire may be impossible, heat sources are not. One potential source of this would be thermal heat vents. If a civilization was to base itself on this, it would have to remain on the seafloor until further technological development. Another way to work around the heat issue is to have a plant or animal that gives off heat. This would change the society to where this plant or animal would be viewed as their god or a gift from their god. Or you can just say they have magic. In conclusion, aquatic civilizations can work, they just need to work around these problems. Hopefully you can find some innovative solutions and they'll create new and interesting stories.